Next question is from 713 Clown. If you eat the same healthy foods on a regular basis, does your body get used to the nutrients and they stop being beneficial? I've heard this before, and I don't know if I believe it. No, it doesn't work like that. What could happen is you could have nutrient deficiencies because you're not eating foods that contain particular nutrients. That's right. Now, if you're eating a lot of animal uh, products and meats, uh, you're probably okay. Red meat contains a lot. It's very nutrient dense, so you're probably fine. This is more of an issue for vegans. When they get stuck in the cycle of eating the same vegetable sources or the same vegan sources, they run into issues because they need a more wide variety to provide themselves with nutrients that they'd be missing. Now, there is one potential other issue. If you're eating the same foods over and over again and you have gut inflammation, you could increase your risk of developing a food intolerance because your body's being exposed to the same food over and over again. You have inflammation of the gut. Your body now is developing an immune response to that particular food. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, the sweet potato that you eat every single day now is something that bothers your your gut or your body because you've developed an, an immune response. But other than that, you know, this is a not that big of a deal. I think if you eat one food all the time, yeah. this could become an issue. But if it's the same four or five foods and you have you, some animal you don't sources. E you don't hear that, though, from carnivore, right? You don't hear that from them because of how nutrient-dense meat is. Sure. So it's it's not – and it's not just vegans that have this issue. But it is – if you do tend to only eat a few things and mm -hmm. you stick to that all the time and you don't get a lot of yeah. meat – there's it a, sort of loses its potent or, or potency, I guess. Right. Well, the or you just are missing some nutrients that just yeah. those those foods. There's are, that story. There's, that, there's a girl. I think she developed some big issues. It was a story a while ago because all she would eat were chicken nuggets. She had a weird, you know, aversion to any other food, and I all she would only eat eating pizza is, too. Is, and yeah. there's stuff like that. Yeah. And they get away with it for a long ass time. Yeah. Because a lot of these foods are fortified. Well, yeah, and the and yeah. the body is resilient as shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it will it. Its goal is to survive. So, yeah. and if you're giving it some sort of fuel, it'll figure itself out. Does not mean it's running optimally, and it right. won't. Doesn't mean that it won't catch up with you eventually. Now, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't mean though that the, it loses its benefit. I mean, you're 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 no, no. You're still getting the same nutrients. I I I think though there is some value in like eating with the seasons, just because it's already there in nature. You see like how these different types of vegetables and plants, you know, have provided you with like you know like certain nutrients f going into the colder. That's true. Um, you know seasons and so you'll get you'll get some of that benefit just by following nature patterns yeah now you know what the big value is with doing that is in my opinion psychological right i think there's a huge value to changing the way you eat either with the seasons or with your goals you're more accustomed to wide variety you're less likely to have to always be in this rigid box and then if you go off oh my gosh i go way off and i binge all of a sudden like i never eat carbs and now all of a sudden i ate some carbs and i'm going to eat all the carbs type of deal for example yeah. Yeah. so i think the psychological benefit is really high you know who does this the most is bodybuilders uh but mainly when they're in preseason or, or excuse me not preseason pre-contest where they'll eat the same like yeah four things all the time it's like tilapia yeah. chicken broccoli yeah, all asparagus and some white rice it's the same thing all the time that, but I, but again, it's more of a psychological issue that I see because then when they go off, it becomes like this oh my gosh, the chains are off. I can do, you know, whatever I want. Well, we've mm. always, I mean, promoted that on the show the food rotation. Yeah. I mean, I just think that's a, just a, be aware of those things, especially when there's foods like, like for example, like fish, right? So I, I don't always have fish in the diet, but I try and be, be aware of. You know, when I've I've done a week or two and I haven't got any fish in the diet, then I will actively go out there. Or when Katrina is asking me when she's ordering our our food, or our groceries, and she says, you know, what, what do you want for dinner this week? I say, you know what, like throw some fish in there. It's mm -hmm. been a week or two since we had that. Make sure we get that in there. Or if we've been doing a lot of red meat, then I'll throw some white meat in there. So. I just think it's a, and the vegetables are trying to t change all the colors up. So I just think it's a good habit for people to try and get into is to rotate your foods because different foods provide different nutrients. And if you have a good rotation, you're probably going to cover most you're bases. Cover it, yeah. Agreed.